All right, guys, what's going on? Day two, for me at least, of uh, Bike Week at Daytona. So I'm getting ready to take out. Yesterday I had Valiant out. I had a great time at Tab Performance and at Figurati Designs, um, hanging out with John and the Jersey Boys. Some of them, um, obviously, I knew already, and some of them I met already. Robles on two, and uh, her husband, Paul. Uh, just great, great people. So today, my hotel is right across from the Speedway. I can actually see it. And if I had an arm like I used to have, I could throw a rock and hit it. That's where Harley Davidson is, not the dealership, but where they're doing the demo rides. So um, I've already been in contact with Matt. He told me he's got a CVO Road Glide Limited available for me, and I'm gonna be riding that today. So I'm not gonna take uh, Violet out today. Again, Violet, that's for day three, doing a meet and greet over at Tab Performance. Oh. And guys, this is another reason why I like bringing my trailer. So last night, as I knew it was gonna happen, it poured. And whenever I bring my motorcycles here, this is my garage. So I remember the last time I came here last year, it was hailing outside. So, you know, some hotels, you might have something you could put your motorcycle under, like an overhang, or if you have a cover, but I don't have to worry about that. I just pull right in and the Condor wheel chalk, I love those condo wheel chocks because Violet is still tied down. Woo! Violet's still tied down because I haven't taken her out yet. But Valiant isn't. And, and she doesn't need to be with the condo wheel chalk. Once I pull it in there, it's in there. Right? Beautiful. And of course, I'm talking about for it just be, for it, it's just sitting here. I'm, I wouldn't drive with it like this. You know, that doesn't, you know, you got to use some common sense. Here. So I'm about 15 minutes away from Destination Daytona. But the good thing about today is, like I said, it's right there. So it's a short commute. Reload. gonna load up the saddlebags with whatever I'm bringing and I'm just gonna be transferring that stuff into the saddlebags or the tour pack of that CVO Road Glide Limited. All right, let's do it. Okay, so I know some of you have been asking, how do I get those shots where it looks like a drone's following me? Not just right above me, but behind me. And here's how I do it. This is a belt, and this is from Insta360. Looks like a weight belt. Um, and it has an attachment back here, and it's threaded. And this is an Insta360 selfie stick. Now they have, these come in different sizes. This one is the highest one that I, that I have. It's also carbon fiber. Screw that on there. And, you know, if you want, you can just keep it that high. But I raise it a little higher. Not too high. I don't want it to be ridiculously high, especially if I'm going to be riding at any kind of speed. And then I simply take the camera and screw that onto this part. And again, the good thing about the Insta360 camera is it doesn't matter which way it's facing. It's going to get everything. You know, if you look really closely in some shots, you can see the thread line. The thread line is going to be, of course, the side of the camera, both sides. So if you don't want that thread line to be in whatever you're shooting, just make sure that the camera is actually facing it instead of it being like this. But either way, it's going to pick everything up. It threads it together. Wrap it around your waist. Now, I should also mention that the thing that this goes into, this piece right here is also adjustable. So you can make it go back, up. But if you're going to be riding, you can kind of put it straight up because the wind's going to kind of push it back anyway, all right? All right. All right, guys. I'm going to take you with me over to the Speedway. Very short ride. All right, let's do it. Ah, she sounds good. I'm 
phone bag, making sure they're locked. Get into this ride guys because before you know it we're gonna be there <laughs> According to the motorcycle, it's 78 degrees, so we can take a couple of degrees off of that. It would make sense to make that uh, something like that available at an event like this when you're gonna have a whole bunch of people there especially since there's some there's some there's a little bit of hype around that motorcycle even though people say oh it's just uh whatever the hell the other motorcycle is called that's all it is with a tour pack it doesn't matter. There's still some hype around it. I know I looked at it and said, wow, that looks pretty nice. I want to take it for a test ride and explore some other stuff with it. All right, Harley Davidson has a truck right there. I don't know if that's a demo truck, but I'm gonna find out. Is this the entrance I want? I don't think so. Oh no, that says demo exit. All right, just like in part one of my Daytona visit, as I was riding through destination Daytona, no music guys. I just want you to listen to her purr. Listen to those 50 caliber tab performance slip-ons with the tab performance headers. Love the way it sounds. This is the Daytona Speedway guys. They have parking here, they have the demo rides, and they were demos from a bunch of different motorcycle manufacturers. Of course, I'm headed to Harley Davidson uh, to meet uh, Matt and Paul. Again, they're the PR guys from Harley Davidson, and uh, Matt hooked me up with the CVO Road Glide Limited. And as I'm riding to them, of course, I'm looking around. Of course, I'm doing exercise number two. You guys know the deal. Um, and not as congested as Destination Daytona. Uh, but either way, either way, exercise number two.
All right, guys, I'm out here at Harley Davidson. I'm with Matt and Paul. They're with the PR department. And this is the motorcycle that they gave me today. I'm going to be test riding it. This is the 2022 Road Glide, I'm sorry, CVO Road Glide Limited. And they haven't made one of these since 2016. Is that correct? I think that's right. Yeah, it's back. Yep, 2016. Okay, um, but before I talk to Paul, you guys see this? These are scuff marks. You know what that's from? That's from people's feet. That's why I get on the motorcycle on the high side. All right. Tell us a little bit about this bike. All right. This is the CVO Road Glide Limited. And this particular version is this Dante's Red with flames ghosted. So it's a beautiful paint. Actually, we don't have a lot of overhead light and ambient light right now, but man, this thing pops in the sunlight. It's got a fade too, right? Yeah, it's a faded, yeah, faded flame. It's kind of ghosted in there. It's a very rich and premium paint finish. It looks just stunning. I, I, this is actually uh, seeing it together is, and you see like this side with the tank and the emblems, extremely rich looking. And of course here, just below the tank, you can see the Milwaukee 8 117. So this is a very nicely finished powertrain as well. Very powerful, 125 foot pounds of torque at 3,500 RPM on this bike. And you really do feel the torque of that displacement. You can see the really nice finishes and the matching tones on the powertrain. And uh, you know, that, that rich finish is, you know, legacy of, of CVO. Right, CVO has always been about this beautiful paint, premium look, and then of course big motors, big wheels. On this on this bike, you've got the Kahuna collection, so you've got heated grips, you've got heated seat, dual zone for the passenger and the rider. It's an extremely comfortable seat. Good point and note about that scuffing, right? Like when, yeah. you, when you board on the high side, you never get that, right? And never. You, then you also control the brake lever. That's true. And so it's a it's a good way to board. Not a lot of people do it, but when you see people do it, you know they've got training or you know they're yeah, a motor officer. Absolutely. Those are two different ways I know Absolutely. It. So the sound system, you can see the speakers here. You've got front and rear speakers. This is that Harley Davidson powered by Rockford Fosgate audio. Ah, okay. Really a nice sound system. I'm uh, looking very, forward to that Rockford Fosgate. Yeah, very clear, uh, very powerful, and uh, it's just a really stunning uh, sound, sound quality. And it, does, it has, let me see, yes, lights right here, guys so that when you open your saddlebag, that light shines in the saddlebag. And you'll have one of those in the tour pack as well, right here. Yeah, it's a nice feature. These Very little nice creature feature. comforts, they kind of, uh, the whole bike has a lot of different little features and creature comforts that you come to appreciate when you're on it. And it's the small details. Yeah, it's That's exactly, what I appreciate. Exactly, the small details matter, especially when you're touring and when you're riding a long day. Uh -huh. You're looking for something inside your tour pack or your saddlebag, it's just one of those exactly. things. It's nice to have that extra light. All right, I appreciate you talking to me. Listen, guys, I appreciate um, Paul, right? Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate Paul talking to me. I appreciate Matt reaching out to me. He didn't think he was going to get on camera. It's not going to happen, Matt. You're going to get on camera. All right? So we're looking at, we got some rain coming. So as much as I like talking to these guys, I'm getting on this bad boy or girl, whatever the hell it is, and I'm going to ride it. All right. Got a full tank of gas. All right, boys. Thank you. So guys, already I'm right up on this. But you know what, with the highway pegs, the back support's really good. Um, but without the highway pegs, I would be suffering right now because it's so straight up. The top leans back a little bit. Like every other Harley Davidson, yeah, what's gonna have to be done to this motorcycle to make it comfortable for me? Gonna have to change the bars, perhaps the seat. So I just noticed one thing this doesn't have because of the design of the fairing, it does not have, you guys know how you have buttons on the CVO, you have buttons to lock and unlock the tour packs. This has that as well, of course. But there's a third button that are on the CVOs, well, at least the CVO Limited, um, and that is 
the button to turn on the running lights, the auxiliary lights. This doesn't have that because it's not designed that way. I'm sure you can put something on it. Keep it loaded, baby. Keep it loaded. Of course, the exhaust. Got to change that too. It's very quiet. What's going on, brother? And how can I forget, guys? Suspension. Clutch is, you know, how it normally comes on a motorcycle. All the way out. This has a cable clutch, so easily adjustable. You got a clear windshield on here. I don't know how many inches it is. All right, guys, we'll pick this back up at Destination Daytona. Hey, what's going on? How you doing, man? Hello, buddy. How you been? No complaints, man. No complaints at all. Hi guys, I'm back here in front of Tap Performance. I just stopped by to say hi. I'm demoing this uh, CVO Road Glide Limited. It's getting a lot of looks, a lot of eyes. It needs some Tap Performance, I'll tell you that much. And of course, I ran into a preloader. What's your name, sir? Paul Kites, Rochester, New York. Paul, what kind of motorcycle you ride? I ride a 21 Road Glide. How long, you been riding the, how long have you been riding a motorcycle? I've been riding for about 20 years. Okay, and on a scale of one to 10, how would you rate your slow speed skills? Eh, yeah, five or six to be honest. Five or six is excellent. Still now, practicing. Here's the important question. You said you've been riding for 20 years, right? Yes, sir. How long have you been practicing slow speed skills? Probably for about six months. Okay, good, good, very good. And if you're a five or a six, that practice is paying off because that's awesome. Yes, sir. Pleasure to meet you, man. You too. Thank you, Robert, for your time. All right. Anything you want to say to the preloaders? 
No, keep practicing. It's, the practice makes perfect. That's right. Practice makes better, but I know what he means. Practice makes better. Yes, sir. <laughs> it makes us more proficient. Yep. Perfect. All right, guys. I'm still riding up and down these roads trying to find Chromeworks. Ridiculous. Somebody gave me some directions, wrong information. Anyway, ran into another awesome um, preloader. Pre Not a VIP yet. Preloader. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Marvin Johnson. Okay, and, and you I'm are still from? I'm going to do a private lesson from New York. Okay, very good. Um, what do you ride again? I ride a 2021 Ultra Limited. And how long have you been riding? 30, 30 something years, almost 40. 30 something years? All right, here's the important question How long have you been practicing slow speed? Since I started watching your channel, okay. almost a year now. Awesome. One to ten, ten being the best. How would you rate yourself, slow speed? I'm gonna move myself up now to a two and a half. Two and a half. All right, very good, man. Always a pleasure to see you. And again, thank you for that birthday uh, video that you threw in there for my 50th. That was outstanding, man. Not a problem. And this is your buddy, right? That's my buddy, Centro. So he's also a preloader. Yes. What's sir. your name, sir? My name's Centro. Where are you from? Bronx, New York. Bronx, baby. What kind of motorcycle you ride? 2020 Road Ride Limited. How long have you been riding the motorcycle? I was 14 and I'm 46. Okay, now the most important question, how, or how how much do you practice slow speed? Every time I ride. Every time I ride. You might ride once a day, I don't know. Every time I ride, I ride every day to work in the Bronx. <laughs> okay, very good. On the, on the highway, coming down, we were stuck in traffic in uh, Virginia and North Carolina. Oh, you guys rode down here? We rode yeah. down here. Okay, very good. How was that ride? It was good. The ride was awesome until we got to a little traffic. But your slow speed, See the brake light on, see the bike nice and balanced. That's right. Right, clutch control and everything. Exercise so, number two. I, I can vouch for him. You can that. vouch for him. Yes. On a scale of one to ten, ten being the best, how would you rate your slow speed skills? Three. Three. All right, three's good. Pleasure to meet you. I got something for you. Stand by. What's your name, sir? My name's Mike McGroger from Bucks County, PA. Mike, what kind of motorcycle do you ride? I got a 21 Street Guy Special. All right, baby. How long have you been riding a motorcycle? About 18 years. Okay, here's the most important question. How long have you been practicing slow speeds? Since I picked you up like two years ago. Awesome. The channel's not two years old yet, but I know what you mean. About from the that. beginning. Yeah, about that. From the beginning. <laughs> All right, and on a scale of one to ten, ten being the best, how would you rate your slow speed I'll skills? I'm about a four or five, man. Okay. Really, I can't compete with you, buddy. No, none of this is ever a competition, man. But listen, I appreciate you. Keep practicing, preload, and keep it loaded. Keep it loaded, <laughs> baby. Keep it loaded. My oh, man. Sorry, buddy. All right. Let's go, man. You got it, man. All right, guys, I'm at Chromeworks. I just came by here to visit. Uh, John and Sandy, that's Holy Shift and Cycle Fanatics, or if I want to do it respectively, that's Cycle Fanatics and Holy Shift. This is Holy Shift's motorcycle. Left his hat on the bike strategically, very nice. I don't know if this bike has a name, I gotta ask him. Jersey's in the house, a lot of Advan Black on his motorcycle. guys are working so I ain't gonna bother them. What's going on man? What's up? You know how long I've been trying to get over here to see you? Yeah, because you've been What's going on brother? And, uh, figure eights around the park no, park. talking to preloaders. I'm not doing no donuts on that. This is Chris. I met Chris. Uh, we're, gonna get, yes. we're gonna get you to turn, turn over? Turn over a new leaf or what? I mean, Ten years when I'm older. <laughs> If I, I was about to say, was, if I keep these muffs long enough, it's going to be sooner than 10 years because I'm going to be deaf. I wear earplugs, though. Sandy, I got a question for you. Go ahead. Does your motorcycle have a name? Yeah, it does. What's the name of it? Don't say Electroglide. Blackbird. Oh, Blackbird's the name? Yep. Does your motorcycle have a name? Of course. What is it? Well, you know that, right? It's Silverback. Now, he has to know I'm asking for others, not just me. Of uh, course I know. <laughs> okay. Silverback. Silverback. And why is the name why is the name Silverback? <laughs> got Hells on Two Wheels right here. Oh, Hells on Two Wheels. That's nice it. to meet you. So, all right, guys. Everything happens for a reason. I'm over here at the Custom Dynamics tent, and I wasn't planning on coming over here, but I followed traveling tall because he was starving and he wanted to eat some food that's horrible for his body. So we came over here, and because it was raining, we said let's go over to Custom Dynamics for shelter. And when I come over here. Who do I see? My family. Oh my gosh. So this is all blue here. 
all blue. I'm not talking about their balls. This is NYPD, right? The motorcycle club. The name of the motorcycle club is? Vigilance. Vigilance. So I'm going to talk to you guys one at a time. I'm going to start from left to right. Where are you going? Where are you going, Inspector? <laughs> we got the ranking officer. Now, this guy that's retreating, this guy was actually my CO in highway, in highway number one when I was a cop in highway, right? He's retreating. I don't know why. But anyway, <laughs> we're going to talk to you. You're a VP, correct? Yes, sir. All right, what's your name? Ozzy Rosado. Ozzy, how long have you been riding a motorcycle? Uh, about 20 years now. What kind of motorcycle do you ride? I ride a 2015 Ultra Limited. Okay, and here's the most important question. How long have you been practicing slow speed riding on your motorcycle? Never. Okay, <laughs> now guys, the reason I always ask that question is because the first question tells me a little bit. It has little relevance because I've asked people and they've been riding for half a century, right? And they still really don't know what they're doing. But if you are practicing slow speed, it's important that we know why we practice slow speed riding. We practice slow speed riding. A, yeah, it looks cool, but really it's showing that you actually know how to ride. Also, you're practicing for uh-oh. If you don't practice slow speed motorcycle riding, when uh-oh happens out there, you're gonna resort to your instincts. And your instincts on the motorcycle are always wrong. You feel yourself falling, your instinct is to put your foot out. When really, you need to just go back into the friction zone, provide power to that rear wheel. That's what's gonna keep your motorcycle up. If you're doing emergency braking, and you're coming, oh crap, emergency braking, not oh crap braking. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. What are we doing at the same time as we squeeze, squeeze, squeezing? Downshifting. Because if you're able to stop in time, now you check your mirror and the person coming up behind you is not stopping, now you need to move. If you're in sixth gear, you're screwed. Also, if even if you're in first gear, if you don't have this skill set down packed, you're still screwed. Because this ain't the time to be trying to do this. You need to know how to manipulate your motorcycle at slow speeds. And the only way you're going to get that muscle memory so that when old crap happens, you do that. Just when we go to the range, that's why they do that over and over. It has to become muscle memory. When I first moved down here to Georgia, I joined the Savannah Police Department. Now down here in Georgia, they, they carry their magazines horizontally. So when I'm at the range, I go to, I empty, I drop my magazine, I go to reach for the other one, I'm reaching in the wrong direction. So they told me, listen, you've been working for 22 years doing it one way, you do it that way, because that's already in my muscle memory. Same thing applies to your motorcycles. So if you don't practice when uh-oh happens, we don't want to leave things to chance and just hope shit works out. We want to ensure, ensure that we lessen the odds that the bad stuff's going to happen. All right, I don't want to talk you guys to death. Um, you subscribe to my channel? Yes, sir. I appreciate you subscribing. I encourage you, especially clubs, motorcycle clubs, especially an MC that's law enforcement related. You guys need to practice, practice together, because wh when they see vigilance coming down the road, they don't even have to, I don't even want them to have to see the patch. They're going to look at you and go, that's vigilance. That's my, that's what I really want. All right? But that's up to you guys. Okay. <laughs> appreciate you. What's your name, sir? My name is Oliver. I'm, where are you from? Queens. Okay, everybody's from New York, so I'm going to skip that question. <laughs> all right? Oh, yeah, some people move, but you're originally from New York, right? Yes, sir. Okay, that's all I care about. Okay, um, what do you ride? I ride a Rural King, a 2020 Rural King Special. How long have you been riding a motorcycle, period? Uh, 20 plus years. How long have you practiced slow speed motorcycle operation? Never. Okay, very good. Are you subscribed to my channel? Yes, I am. Okay, good. I'm always amazed. I don't know how people can watch my channel and not feel compelled to go out and put this stuff to practice because. You know, I'll talk to you guys in a second. I appreciate you subscribing. I appreciate all of you guys for your service, all right? And I don't know if you guys know, but at the end of my video, every video, I always give a special shout out to my brothers and sisters in blue. Of course, I always got to give a big up to Highway 1 because that's where I worked. And the district because that's where the school is. Blah, blah, blah. You guys know how it goes. Appreciate you. Okay, I'll get to the back row in a second. What's your name, sir? Will Suspiders. Okay, and I know you're from New York. What do you ride? Uh, 2018 Road Glide Special. Okay. How long have you been riding a motorcycle? 20 plus years. How long have you been practicing slow speed motorcycle operation? Never have. <laughs> okay. Never have. Very good. And let me ask you this. On a scale, I, I do this at the end. I'm going to ask all of you guys on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 being the best, how you rate yourself at slow speeds. Now, that's a loaded question for you guys because you don't practice it. So, 9 times out of 10, your number is going to be high. But that's why I like doing my practice sessions because it's humbling. I don't rate people. I let you rate yourself, and then you use that number to decide where you want to be. I've had people come in there and say, I'm an eight. And I say, well, I rate myself an eight. Well, all right, if you're an eight, then I'm a, a one. Like, it's like, it's not even close, right? But at the end of the day, it's not a competition. 
That's important that I say that. It's not a competition. I always tell people, leave your egos on the sidewalk, all right? Do what you're comfortable with, blah, blah, blah. Okay, appreciate you being a subscriber as well. Don't forget, don't, remind me, I got something for you guys. What's your name, sir? Dennis Broderick. What kind of motorcycle are you ride? Street Glide, 2018. How long have you been riding that? 20 plus years, easy. How long have you practiced slow speed maneuvers? A few times, but not, not that often, no. Okay, um, and I appreciate, you're a subscriber too, right? Yes, sir. Okay, I appreciate you subscribing to the channel. Um, and of course, like I told you all you guys, appreciate everything that you do out there. No matter what you're doing. I used to tell people all the time, well listen, this guy works at, who works at 1PP? Okay, so people would look at him and say he works at 1PP. He's not in any danger. Bull crap, because when the crap hits the fan and it's all hands on deck, no matter, what you, no matter where you work and what you're doing, it's just like the military. You can be chilling, the next thing you know, you're right in the thick of it. So, you know, it is what it is. All right, what's your name, sir? Julio Michelli. What kind of motorcycle are you ride? 2019 Street Glide Special. Street Glide, baby. Yeah. How long have you been riding a motorcycle, period? Uh, close to 20 years, about 18 years. How long have you been practicing slow speed motorcycle operation? Uh, now and then, I wouldn't say I practice every day, though. Okay, good. Nobody expects you to do it every day. Okay, did I get you? No, I said I was going to get the back row. Where are you from? New York. Okay, I said I wasn't going to ask that. I see it says New Jersey. <laughs> no, okay. What's your name? Milan Petronic. What kind of motorcycle you ride? 20 Road Drive Limited. How long have you been riding a motorcycle, period? Probably 30, 40 years. Okay. Since I was a little kid. Okay. And how long have you been practicing slow speed motorcycle operation? Up until recently, very infrequently, but just recently I started. Okay, good. Practicing. See any difference in your riding? No, I'm not practicing enough. Okay, but, okay. But, yeah, I'm feeling a little more confident making U-turns, like, uh, on, on, a, on the street. Yeah. There, I'm feeling more and more confident making turns. You hear what he said, guys? He said he feels more confident. What do I say in almost every video? A confident rider is not only a safer rider, but it's a rider that's going to actually enjoy riding their motorcycle way more. We're all about building confidence and preload a nation because everything else after that will follow. But you can't buy confidence in a box. you got to practice. you got to put the time in. You get out what you put in. Okay, what's your name, sir? Thank Jack, you, man. Jack Driscoll. Okay, and uh, what do you ride? I ride that 2015 Street Glide Special. Oh, nice, nice. How long have you been riding a motorcycle? Oh, 47 years. And how long have you been? Before Christ. How long? As soon as Christ fell off the When I started, they only rode slow. No. <laughs> how long have you been practicing slow speed motorcycle operation? Not enough. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, now, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, how would you rate your slow speed skills? Two. Two. How many is wheel out? Two? Two, three, five, or six. Two. Five, two. Okay, a two. Okay. Yeah. No, no. You, you, I always tell people don't compare yourself to me, but some people like to use me as a barometer. That's fine. Yeah, parents, you have like an 11. Okay, good. <laughs> Perfect. While I was at Custom Dynamics, I also ran into professional monkey and I was already with traveling tall um, unfortunately I missed mrs. monkey she was already gone but I got to tell you every time I run into this guy watch his videos um, I'm liking him more and more all right guys my day is over as it pertains to riding the CVO uh, road glide limited I want to thank Matt again for hooking me up with it he's taking it back into wherever the hell he's got to take it but what I want to show you guys I want to show you the setup that Harley Davidson's got going on here. Now, there's other motorcycle manufacturers out here and they're doing demo rides. But, guys, I want you to see this. So, first off, I got a whole schedule here telling you what's going on. And they got this all cordoned off. All right? Got their own pitches up. Like, they could have just put these wrought iron things up but and look at all of these motorcycles like look at all these bikes and this is for demo rides right look at them cvo's and i'm not talking about like group led demo rides i'm talking here's a motorcycle go take it for a ride and, and not a little bit of cvo's either a lot of them Here's a trike CVO, a tri glide. One day I'm going to ride one of these just to see how it feels. Okay. 
See what I'm seeing, guys? Holy crap. Some more tri-glides. It's impressive. And like I said, look at the things that they put on the fence. It's just... I always say, guys, I appreciate the small details. And this is some top-notch stuff. It really is. We got ST models, of course. Got the CVO road glides over there. The lights on. I'm sure that means something to them. So just good stuff, guys. Very good stuff. I'm impressed with this operation that they got going on here. I really am. Arizona impressed me. And now this impressed me. All right, guys, I was leaving Holy Davidson. I was heading back to, I guess, my hotel. And as I'm rolling through here, I hear Robert Simmons. And these fine gentlemen right here, they're preloaders. That's a microphone you can hold at. Yes, sir. What's your name, sir? Nero Jones out of Detroit, Michigan. They call me Harley D. And also Beamer D when I'm on my BMW. Um, how long have you been riding a motorcycle? I've been riding a motorcycle about 45 years. Okay, here's the important question. How long have you been practicing slow speed riding? Slow speed, slow speed riding, I've been pretty much practicing that uh, since the year 2006. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. Yeah. So even, oh, all right, that's a long time. pretty glad, yeah, for sure. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, how would you rate your slow speed skills? About an 8. 8 is good. So you guys hear that. What do we always say in Preloaded Nation? I rate myself an 8. So if anybody's even close, we got plenty of room for him to show us what he's got. Again, not competition-based, but people like to see what an 8 looks like. Okay. Where are you from? Detroit, Michigan. All right, and you guys trail it down? Yes. And you leaving on the 13th? Yep. Enjoying it so far? Loving it. Okay, very good. Pleasure to meet you, man. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you. What do you ride, by the way, here today? I'm riding the Road King today. Ah, the it's Road my King. Pops my Road King. Look at that, man. That's awesome. Woo! I got a Road King. It ain't nothing like this. <laughs> Look at that. That's What year is this? It's a 99, had it 22 years. You put it's speakers in My late father's there? bike. Your father's bike. Look at that, man. Your father's still with us? Nope. Sorry to hear that. But that's what makes this even more special. Right. Thank wow. You. That's awesome, man. All right, yeah, pass the mic to this young man, okay. please. What's your name, sir? My name is Jamal. Jamal, where are you from? Detroit, Michigan. How long have you been riding the motorcycle, Jamal? I've been riding, I'm relatively a new rider. Uh, I say about a good five years. Five okay. Years. And how long have you been practicing slow speed riding? Maybe not a full year yet. Okay, good. Four years. I'm still a, new, a newbie. <laughs> All right. Sense, you know, but, and if you had to rate yourself slow speed, one to ten, ten being the best, what would you give yourself? Uh, right now, say uh, five. Five, five is yeah, good. Yeah. Five yeah. is very good. And this is your Road King. What year is it? Uh, this, this I mean, Road, road glide. glide. This is a 2020. 2020, 2020 very good. Glide. I see the custom dynamics lights. Yeah. Right there, Genesis mm -hmm. 2. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, nice floorboards. Oh, shit. Just got him. He got the 131. <laughs> I didn't see that stage four. Oh, yeah. I didn't see that stage. He said, screw you. Screw your slow speed riding. Hey, I got I got a little power behind me. <laughs> yeah, you're good, man. You're doing good. I rode this out in um, Arizona. Arizona, And that's yeah. what's up. Got the chrome works on the back. Oh, yeah. All right, man. Mm -hmm. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you for subscribing. Okay, likewise, man. Thanks for Pass the time. mic to the new subscriber. Uh-oh. The, the new subscriber. Yeah. <laughs> Let's listen to your story. Uh, what story you got? You don't have to hold it too okay. close. Okay. Right. What's your name, brother? I'm Doug Strutter. And you're from Detroit as well? From Detroit as well, yes. How long have you been riding the motorcycle? I've been riding the motorcycle for close to 48 years. Nice. How long have you been practicing slow speed riding? Slow speed, probably a good 40 of those years. Wow, Woo, that's awesome. One to 10, 10 being the best, how would you rate your slow speed skills? Probably a, I'd say a seven. Seven, you got, so we got some good, good riders here today. All right, so without further ado, we're gonna need to see you and this young man right here. Yeah. Just show us some slow, some slow speed stuff. I'm looking, okay. especially on his Pops bike, this is, this is just awesome. Awesome, awesome stuff. Well, I'm sure you already know because you ride with them. <laughs> right. Uh-oh. See how his head and his eyes are straight up? Make sure you're in first gear. It's always step number one.
Had a nice, had a nice. talking about baby that's what I'm talking about baby that's good enough I love it man all right big shoes to fill <laughs> whoa whoa what are you doing man we don't duck walk on motorcycles we don't duck walk especially if we're seven nine out of seven we don't uh oh uh oh Really? Nah, no, just pull over there. Pull over there. Head and eyes, people. All right, all right. And what's happening? You hear the throttle? You hear how low his throttle is? So he's going to have problems. Head and eyes! Okay, listen. You don't watch the video. I'm watching it, I just, I, but I haven't. Like you said, I haven't. Listen, you're awesome. I don't rate people. I let everybody rate themselves. At the end of the day, the both of you, particularly you, you you're not scared of the motorcycle. That's always the key. You're also both throttle blippers. You're throttle blippers. Now, I always say, if you're comfortable blipping your throttle, blip your throttle. But somebody that's learning this, not good because it's, it's, it causes... I'm going to tell you why it's hard for us. Right, right, right. I'm going to tell you why it's hard for us. Because these both, both these bikes got high performance in this. We done did so much to them. Okay. They're basically like drag bikes. Gotcha. Because as soon as I let yeah. it, she want to jump. Now, wheels on a stock bike, stock bike, it'd be simple for me. Not this. But this they thing, you got to keep, yeah, keep it boosted. So, here's, here's what I'll say to that. Yeah. If you keep that throttle up, uh -huh. keep it at about 2,000, it doesn't matter how, it doesn't matter if it wants to jump. Your clutch is what determines how, whether it moves, right? Okay. The other thing that you both don't do is your head and your eyes, particularly you. You're looking down as you're turning instead of looking over your shoulder. Okay. Right. You look over your shoulder, it's going to make that turn so much yeah. easier, yeah. right? <laughs> and because he's a throttle blipper, when you a couple of times when you put your foot down, right. it's because your throttle's too low. If there's no power to the rear wheel, it's going to fall. Right. And as slow as you guys are moving, that's the only thing keeping it up. Yeah. So in those times, a low throttle is not your friend, especially if you're in a lean. But none of you guys were leaning. You're actually doing it straight up, which I tell people, that's what I want them to really master. Because when you master that, Everything else is easier. Everything else is easy. I was kind of looking for you to do some figure eights. I wanted to hear some boards dragging. Oh, yeah. But at the end of the day, none of that's necessary. It, it's not necessary. You've already shown me just by that. Now, here's the funny thing. I always look at people when I'm doing my practice session. I watch them pull in and park. It tells me a lot of what I need to know. When you guys pull off, I watch that too. It tells me a lot of what I need to know. Tell me your name again. Daryl Yeah, Daryl Jones. When Daryl pulled off, as soon as his motorcycle starts to move, foot up. So I already know where he is. You started, you had the audacity to duck walk the bike out of that right, spot. Right. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm like, yeah, I don't usually do that. I guess it's the camera, man, it's nerves. <laughs> but you know what? At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. I tell people all the time, this is not a competition. I know as men, we, you know, we're competitive by nature, but it's not a competition. So if you feel more comfortable, like this dude was going between people's motorcycles. I said, oh, here we go. I said, here we go. I was trying to get over here. Yeah, you could have just went straight through, but you were like, huh? Eh, eh, eh. And I said, oh, shit. I thought you were telling him to do it. Way he no? All right, so guys, and the reason why I always do stuff like this, see the feet come down, both feet come down, as soon as he's stopping, it's because I always ask the question, how long have you been practicing? The reason that's relevant is this is what shows it's relevant. This young man right here, 
said he's been practicing slow speed maneuvers since 2006, right? And, and look how he rides his motorcycle, right? Again, I'm not saying that you have to be as extreme as he is, but the point is, it's all about your confidence. The more you practice, the more confident you're gonna be. And what do I always say? A confident rider is not only a safer rider, but a rider that's gonna enjoy riding their motorcycle way more. Does it look like he enjoys riding his motorcycle? You may enjoy riding yours too, but if you don't practice this skill, I can guarantee you, you're only enjoying 70%. There's 30% still out there. You wanna be a well-rounded rider. That's what I tell people, well-rounded. All right, guys, I wasn't gonna show you this until I can actually ride it, but I know a lot of you guys wanted to see it, so. I wanted to show you guys. That's a Roadmaster you just saw, but that's not what I wanna see. This is the Pursuit, right? And they have two versions of this. This one has chrome, and they also have one where it's blacked out, it's over there, it's a blue one. I'll show you that in a second, guys. You guys know I love that engine, it looks like a toy. Nice long floorboards. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna come here tomorrow if the weather cooperates and test ride this thing. Go over everything about it with you guys, but I just wanna just show you a quick glimpse of it. Okay, rear seat. Speakers. Tour pack. So, uh, you guys can see, see this, see that saddlebag? And if you compare it to the Roadmaster saddlebag, see I was never a big fan of this kind of saddlebag and that's the kind of bag my Chieftain had, my Chieftain Limited had. It's, it's, it's too round, like it's too round. Of course, this doesn't have a lot of space. And you can see this one, it's kind of stretched out a little bit more. It looks better too, it fits the, in my opinion, it fits the motorcycle better. Rear brake, that's our friend. You guys know I'm not a fan of that thing on the fender, but you can always change a fender. And I know on some of these bikes that fender is actually, that, that thing on the fender actually lights up. Got Brembo brakes. Of course it has lowers. And clearly you can see the front of that. I like the way that looks way more than I like the way that looks. And look how much bigger this thing is too. Now again, it's gonna to appeal to certain people, just not to me. Now this Roadmaster must be a newer version. That must've been an older version I was looking at because the front of this one doesn't look like the front of that one. This one doesn't have the passing lights like the other one has. But this is the one I was talking to you guys about that's blacked out. This is another pursuit. And you can see Indian is blacked out. Pursuit is blacked out. If you guys don't know, I'm a chrome guy. You can see this has heated seats for the passenger and the operator. All right? I just like chrome better. You know, that's just me. It makes the motorcycle pop. All right, guys, so, you know, just something brief. See if I have time to ride it tomorrow or even Thursday because I'll still be here Thursday. I'm leaving Thursday, but I can leave anytime I want, right? All right, guys, so I'm going to wrap this up for today at least. Um, today is the second day I'm here. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Wednesday, I'm going to be at tab performance again between 12 and 2 and I told you guys I'm gonna have something done to Violet I'm gonna have Violet there so I'll let you guys know what that is when I get there and after that my day's open now later on that evening Harley Davidson is having a party at the Hard Rock Cafe and they invited me I appreciate that so I'll be there uh, but in between that and the tab performance my day's open so most likely I'll come over here and maybe I'll bring Cycle Fanatics and a bunch of other people over here too because they wanted to come over here anyway and ride some Harleys. So they can ride the Harleys, I can ride the Pursuit. We can, you know, and that's it. All right, guys? All right, so that's going to do it for this video. If you guys like this video, please subscribe, like, share. Hit that notification bell, guys. Switch it to all so you don't miss any of the content coming to you guys. I appreciate it meeting 
all of the preloaders and VI preloaders that I met today. Guys, my mouth is so dry by the end of these things because I'm just talking and talking and talking, but I love it. I love talking and meeting with you guys. I love sharing knowledge and I love hearing about you guys, okay? All right, guys, spend more time being thankful for the things that you have and less time complaining about the things that you don't. Special shout out to my brothers and sisters in blue. And I met a bunch of them today. I, was, I felt so good about seeing my NYPD blue brothers. Um, guys, you guys know that you're appreciated, so please be careful out there. Special shout out to the NYPD Highway Patrol Motorcycle Unit, particularly Highway 1. But guys, you have to keep practicing, all right? Like we've already seen, the proof of practicing is in the pudding. It's gonna make you a more confident rider. Confident rider, a more safer rider. Simple arithmetic. Until next time, guys.